days where I'm like, I hop in and I just can't find that point. So, I mean, you're not going to be great at it every single day unless you practice for it every day. So, I mean, Jack Hurley. practice makes Jack Hurley. <laughs> Jack, practice, practice makes, makes Jack, Jack Hurley. I like that. I like that. What's happening, broskies? Today is Thursday, so we usually do a tech video, but the world is a little miscombobulated. So today we're gonna be doing a BMX tech how-to with my boy, Markel. So that's how you don't pull a nose manual. I myself am no one to talk because I cannot do nose manuals. So today we're gonna do a little interactive how-to. That's the first step, honestly. Don't be scared to bail. What are the prerequisites to do a nose manual? Of course, you need to be able to hop. You have to have, you gotta be able to form like a good hop, you know? You can't do one of these like, I mean you can, but you would rather actually do a bunny hop, you know, front wheel, back wheel, and that's like one of the main prerequisites for it. Cool, so first step, bunny hopping. Second step. Bailing. Yeah. You wanna demonstrate kinda of like the technique, you don't have to really do right now because I'm sure in the process of the nose manual you're gonna bail, but yeah. is it a step through? <laughs> is it a hop? What do you what do you got going? So I'm usually doing a nose mail. When I'm like, there's a couple different steps to it though, because you could some people, if you care for your bike, some people do like a like a hop over the bar and as they hop over they catch their bike like this so it doesn't like damage the bars. But me personally, when I get out of the nose mail, the bike don't matter that much. At the end of the day, my life is much more important than this. So when I bail, and the reason I have these marks on my bars, when I bail, I've just a, and I gotta get away from the bike as fast as possible. It looks safer too, because I see when people do the hold on to it, they kind of do this, and like it's like, yeah, exactly. that's in a precarious position for your, exactly. your gonads. It's such a bad positioning, because you can imagine if you're bailing like this, you're holding your bike, all it takes is you to get caught, and you're doing this. But right. if you toss your bike backwards, then you're, much further away and you're much safer. I've also seen that where people literally push it really hard, but then I think the problem is the handlebar can actually catch you in the catch foot. Your foot too. Exactly. That's a lot more dangerous yeah. but technique. Over time, it gets a little bit easier to get away, but still, then again, nobody's perfect, so it can still happen. See, while I've never learned it, I have definitely tried it and bailed many times, and it hurts because I, I'm afraid of it. I don't want to hurt my knees because I have terrible knees. So when I bail, I end up getting hurt just not even forming it, just trying to learn the bail. So you really need to learn this bail. So One of them. Bails, yeah. then, you know, it happens as I go. Two, two ways you can really know this man. I like one of them more than the other one. You can either do this one, which is the straight lift up, or you can do this. But when you hop into it, it puts you into the position a little bit faster. You know, because when you hop, it gives you that. But when you're pulling up, you have to, you know, gradually get it there. What is the position? Like how steep would you say is a good, you know it's locked in? And you don't have to give me degrees, but just yeah, like should yeah, form yeah, the bike. Say, there's no specific trajectory. It's basically like a personal thing. Everybody knows their, their point. Like, you know when you're doing, this is a difference, but you know when you're doing a manual, if the person can manual, if you're doing a manual, you feel it. You know when you're yep. you're in that position, you're like, oh, it feels a little bit even. When you're in nose mans, you know when your body is able to like, oh, okay, I can actually control this. But there's some positions where you're like this and you're not really controlling it, you're holding on, and then there's like the, you know, it's, you know, it gets better with time. But I mean, would you say that like, the back end has to be higher than at least like, your oh, seat, sure. you know your, what I mean? Like, back there has, has to be a position. You, you have to be at like at least here. Like, there is no way you're doing a nose nail this low. It's not gonna happen. I would say it's getting kind of close to 45 degrees almost. That seems to be that point where you kind of get really steep in there. Yeah. Like probably about here. Right. And that's the point where you start feeling like, oh, okay, I'm gonna flip over. Where you're over. like, oh, okay, I can actually go a distance with this one. Mm -hmm. Where you're like, you know, I'm holding this. But when you're down here, you're like. <laughs> You know. Would you say the sweetest spot is where that point where you're almost gonna flip over and that's when it's really yes, locked in? 100% the best spot is where you feel like, okay, I can either flip over or yeah, really, it's just like, <laughs> you feel like you're about to flip over, but that's really that point where you're like, oh wow, I got this. Time to demonstrate some of these points. Let's see, let me, let me put my own words to use. Like I said, I like step two, which is like hopping into it, which just feels a little better for me, so. Oh, let's see. I just didn't get that point. 
I right. didn't get enough lift on it, so I wasn't able to keep it up. Are there days where you feel like you're just like into the nose manual more right from the beginning? You can kind of like hop into it and you're already steep 100%. from the beginning? There's days where I'm like, I hop into a nose and I'm just going. And there's days where I'm like, I hop in and I just can't find that point. So, I mean, you're not gonna be great at it every single day unless you practice for it every day. So, I mean, check early. Practice makes check early. <laughs> check, practice, practice makes check, check early. I like that. I like that. That's a good one right there. <laughs> Don't trademark that. <laughs> he probably will. CK chain with the little TM at the end. <laughs> All right, here's a, another attempt at me to actually do this. And see, that one was a little bit better. I was able to keep it up because I did hit the balance point a lot quicker. I just didn't hold it that long. That was... Question. Yeah. So, sometimes when I get into a manual, I know from the very beginning, there's no saving it. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with a nose manual, right? Where you just get in and you're like, ah, I don't know if I can yeah. weasel my way out you of this. You definitely, when you get into it, you kind of know. But there are moments, because you know on manuals where you like, you like pull it all the way up and you yeah. save it. There are moments where you can like, you get in the nose, you're about to drop it, and you do something like, like that. Like the hump, it, yeah. It brings it back up. Cool. So it's all about balance. Yeah. At the end of the day, you could almost drop it and then bring it back, but I feel like it's a little harder for a nose man to bring it back. Like if you, if your body gets like this, it's gonna be a little bit harder to actually bring your whole back in, back forward. I need to just get this, this, this square right here. You need to practice to make chat curly. Oh yeah, you were on your CK right yeah, there. That was to <laughs> exactly. And boom, he just drops in off the heavens in a straight lock nose. Now that was a beautiful bail. See, and that's the example of me tossing the bike. And it's kind of natural at this point where I just feel like, you know it. You know when you're going over your bars that you don't want to hit this, you don't want to hit your chest. So you're going to get off that bike. It just takes time to determine which way you want to do it. Like if you care for your bike and your parts and everything like that, which I do, I do love my bike, but I got to get away. You got to live to fight another day. All right, let me keep this. I feel like I jinxed you. Did that hurt your soul? Uh, it actually hurt my body. <laughs> But I am okay. Well, if it hurts your soul, it hurts your body first, and then it hurts so much that it also hurts your soul. Yeah, my foot got caught, so. I live by example, I don't know. These are perfect examples for what not to do and what to try to do. One thing we didn't mention at the beginning is you're actually picking a place on the ground, right? Yeah, that's, of course, that should have been one of the first thoughts. Pick levels. You got, this not parking spots, but usually how I would learn, is you, you do parking spots. Say at a parking spot, you there's a crack here, there's a crack there, bam, you need to start, go from here to there. Once you get that, bam, and let me go for the next one. You know, just make levels that you wanna achieve. And me, since I'm just a bit more advanced, I'm not amazing, but a little bit more advanced, I'm going for this whole little four square thingy that they have going here at the school. And even I'm struggling and I have, so years of it. Practice, practice, practice. When would you say you learned them? Like three, four years ago now? At least like three. Yeah. Me, I've been riding seven times as long and I'm still like, eh, nope, not for me. It's one of those tricks. You're either gonna be really, really good at it or it's gonna be one of those tricks where you have in your, your backpack that you don't pull out. I noticed that too, some people do that rhythm where they'll do the first one, drop it, and then the second one, they really lock it in. Some, yeah, sometimes, you, you know, you hop into the first one, you're like, okay, I didn't get it. If you kind of like just push and hop into the next one, it almost locks in a little bit better. You know what I think it is? You got too much bling on it, it's weighing you down, so you're just flipping forward. Uh, I forgot I had that on. Mm-hmm, now you know. Ah, see, that one I saw you get real yeah, steep. You like started perfect. like. That was perfect. I was at the point where I had complete control of it. I knew I was gonna make that one. That was like a, that was perfect. That was Did like, it surprise you? That's why you didn't keep it going or what? Yeah. It was like, <laughs> sometimes you know you're like, I just did it. And you're so surprised that you're kind of like, oh, well, I just stopped. You know, I, I, as soon as I passed the line, I was my accomplishment. So I didn't really try to keep it. 
Well, let's see if you can hit all four and then that kind of is a full tutorial right there. As many as you can, let's see, just get it. I mean, yeah, it's a distance. <laughs> I know, I can do that. I'm learning more as the tutorial goes on. Exactly. Now you're locking him better. See, like you're slowly progressing that confidence to get really locked. A couple locked. attempts in, you know, couple, maybe a fall or something. Maybe it's what you need and then... A ruined handlebar or two and then... Yeah, a couple little dings. These are the main ones. You're really going to get these. You throw your bike. These dings right here, if you really like your bars, sorry to tell you. It's a wrap. I think you're trying to go through the window there. I'm trying to get back to class, man. Right? I'm tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> School, I miss it. Even though it's been five years since I was at one. Jesus. You dropped that in the third grade? Class is in session. Let's get it. Uh. Well, now you got a 180. Oh, oh. I don't like falling. <laughs> Who does? I don't like falling. But there are some people that will oh, fall. Some people be like. <laughs> I really had faith in that one. It looked good from the beginning. I, I, I wanted that one more than my fall of them. Oh! That was a good one. No! That could have been the outro. That was a hell of a, a line. I mean, you could end it right here, to be honest. You did enough nose nails. Think I've worked hard enough? Yeah, man, that was, that was long. 100, 100 nose nails. Look, I was gonna jump in there and try some nose nails, but after he ate so much crap, I'm just gonna let him have this one. So he's just gonna wrap it there. I appreciate you all for coming and watching this tutorial and, and learning or trying to learn or getting knowledge on how to nose nail. I hope I somewhat helped you or fully helped you. Either way, Thank you for tuning in. I heard you're coming back to YouTube too. I'll be back soon. Can't give you a date, but it'll be in May. I will be gaming, I will be vlogging, probably be filming more with Alfredo. I'm just back working, all right guys? That's what it is. You heard it here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Try to learn these nose manuals. I'm gonna try them, just not here, not today, but one of these days. All right guys.